A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through Him. But the world did not know Him. He came to what was His own, but His own people did not accept Him. But to those who did accept Him, He gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in His name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord In the beginning was the Word. In contrast to the other evangelists who situate the story of Jesus in history, John starts from the beginning, in the sphere of God, when only God was there. But the Word was with God in the beginning, and creation was done through the Word. The evangelist then leaves the sphere of God and focuses on the sphere of humanity. And at the heart of this world is the Word made flesh. This is the climax of the prologue, the very heart of his gospel, and the essence of Christianity. The Incarnation is the ultimate manifestation of God's Word in human history. The Word became flesh. Here, flesh stands for the whole person, who is seen in his weakness as a creature. The Word becomes one with human beings in everything except sin. The Word makes his dwelling among men, becoming like his brothers and sisters. He works with his human hands, thinks with his human mind, acts with his human will, and loves with his human heart. But the glory of the Father's only Son remains in Him.